What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's reaction video is inside the richest zip code in the US. Mm, I wonder where it is. This is going to be good. This is probably going to make us jealous. Probably. I think we'll probably never achieve, but it would be nice to one day get there. What state do you reckon it's in? Um, oh, that's a good question. I was going to ask you that actually, mm -hmm. uh, but I forgot I was going to ask you that. I'm going to go with... I'm going to go California. California, so I was going to say. And I'm going to go. Can I not go California then? Well, you can, but I'm going to go um, San Beverly Hills. Oh, Beverly Hills. Oh, yeah, it's probably Beverly way Hills, away. Beverly Hills, 90210. Is that what it is? Yeah, Beverly Hills. Oh, 90210. I want to go that as well. Can I go that as well? No, just because you think I'm right. Well, no, the thing is, if you actually ask me, you ask me the question, yeah, if you Beverly, let me answer. I'm going Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills, okay. Yeah, I'm going to. Okay. No, I'm going to go to San Francisco to mix it up. Good luck. Is Beverly Hills in San Francisco? <laughs> Beverly Hills is in, like, near Los Angeles. Southern, and oh, San Francisco is, like, more Ooh, up. I'm going to go to San Francisco. I honestly don't know, but I'm going to go to San Francisco. Okay, well, you've lost. Oh, that's fine. Talk. I really hope I've won now. Hopefully, you guys have made it here. Oh, you know what? Not even if you've made it here, because I probably won't want to live in the richest zip, zip code if I had the money. <laughs> Hopefully you've got the ability to buy in this place mm. and then you could be wherever you want in the world. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Smash that like button, guys. Smash that subscribe button. What is a like goal for today? Not doing that for a few Ooh, videos. I forgot 1, about that. 1,795. There you go. And 95. That's important. Inside the richest zip code. What we got? Let's go. Let's go. So we're about to check out one of the country's most expensive neighborhoods. This is Fisher Island. Mel Brooks, Julia Roberts, and Oprah have all owned homes here. With an average income of $2.2 million, it's the Not richest zip code in the United States. Not bad. And we got a chance Where to tour it. it. You may have heard of Fisher from reports that all the residents Miami. and staff got COVID-19 antibody tests. Oh, Just three miles island. from Miami, where testing was rare. I did know rare. about this island. Yep. I've did heard you? about it. It's literally, it literally is what it says, private island in off, off Miami. And it's literally just rich people that live on it. Yeah, well, that's just what I said, yeah. That, that's pretty much just what I just said. I knew about this island. You just repeated the first but three I knew about of it. Why didn't I even think about it? <laughs> I knew about it. Well, we both lost. Unlucky. That's where we're headed. You actually have to take a ferry there. It's one of the only ways to Bear get on the it. island. The other way to get on the or island? helicopter. Private yacht. Oh. Only the island's oh, yeah. 800 families and their guests are allowed on Fisher. So security's wow. pretty tight at the ferry terminal. That's sick. But we got special mm. access back in November 2019, thanks to Dora Puig, one of the island's real estate agents. Fisher Island is a private island on with 216 acres. Dora invited us to tour Fisher's newest developments, Palazzo del Sol and Palazzo del Aluna, opened in 2019, which is how we ended up on the island's newest ferry, taking the seven minute journey from Miami Beach. So right now I'm on the ferry over to Fisher Island and as you can see I'm the only one here in the passenger lounge. Most everyone is in their cars. We've got a Bentley, a Lamborghini, a Porsche, Ferrari I think. You won't see these zooming it. around the island though. To enforce strict speed limits, most people drive around in golf carts. When you go to the beach club, Just you'll have sick. a mini Rolls Royce golf cart, or you'll have a Range Rover golf cart, or I've wow. seen even vintage old American cars in baby blue. The median waterfront home here costs $2.9 million. But residents are not only yeah, splurging... Yeah, I'll just get my piggy bank. We can, we can afford that, can't we, babe? A bit, what's about 100 grand, a bit too much, you know? Yeah, only 100 grand. We're happy in our two-bed flat. Had it, you been, know, had it been 2.8. We would be able to buy, but we prefer our two-bed flat. That's what we prefer. Yeah, if it's been 2.8, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Let us know. Nine, just a tiny bit of a stretch. It just seems pretty sick, to be fair, though. I'd love to live on a You know what? I kind of wait. But which is zip code? I'm not really a fan of that. But the fact that I it's its own island. That, and it's strict security. Golf course. Means. Looks like we've got a golf course there as well. We've got golf carts. Oh, that stay. Would just be heaven. I do like it. It, it. I don't care that it's all quote unquote riches. I think it just looks Can awesome. Can we afford to put them in? Oh, yeah. Let me, let me just check that out. Unfortunately, the bank said no. <laughs> Oh, that's <laughs> we, sad. We can afford our two-bed flat, <laughs> and that's it. Just about. <laughs> yeah, just about. <laughs> on million-dollar apartments. They're also apartment. paying a hefty membership fee. That covers unlimited use of the community pools, the 17 tennis courts, and the private beaches with sand imported from the Bahamas. Wow. But it doesn't include the golf course or the two marinas. The original idea of Fisher Island was for everyone to live in the community and use the community amenities. But even on a private island, some residents want even more exclusive perks. The newest condos, Palazzo del Sol and de la Luna, don't have beachfront locations, 
but they do have a private gym, salon, theater, and pool, and water That's transport that only condo residents can use. Come step in with me. Dora first showed us a $14.5 million unit in Palazzo de la Luna. She says many of the island's current residents have been looking to trade up for a home like this one, so they don't have to share amenities with the whole community. That's, this that's, unit has four bedrooms. It's a hard and life, isn't it? Sharing a tennis court. It's a hard yeah. life. Sharing a pool. <laughs> it does it. I mean, don't get me wrong, right? It's that is fourteen point five million for an apartment. You could get something way better. You could. But I like the idea. It's on its own mm. line. So that, it's you, four bedrooms, five five bathrooms. Four bedroom, four bedroom, fourteen point five million. I don't know about. That. That's a lot of money. Yeah, but you could get a mansion for that. I know. Uh, baths. Could. You walk in, you're at ground level, just like in a single family home. You have your private pool, you're on the bay. But is that your own Look private? at the size of yeah. the outdoor entertaining terraces. It wraps around the whole corner of the residence. You could have a dinner for 200 to 300 people here. Really? Selling point, but still. the disappearing master suite. You walk Four into emails? a dressing room really? that looks like it's an Hermes sense. shop. Nice walk in set. dressing room for the lady in white lacquered Italian closets. The custom bathroom by Buffy for us with the floating island and white lacquer. The tub is custom made for us and it's Ooh, called nice the bath. Fisher Island. And then enter into the master suite with your 12 foot ceilings. Because we were curious, we went to check out a second apartment, a supposedly more affordable unit up a couple floors. At $9 million, it's got three bedrooms and three and a half bathrooms. Here you're walking into the wooded parlor with our little mini library, all in blonde oak. You have the Again. main living room. Don't get me wrong, I would not... If someone said you had to live in my rest of your life, I'd be happy. But for nine million... You could get something so good somewhere else. For an apartment, you know what I mean? You could go somewhere else for nine million, you could have a tennis court of your own, you could have a pool, you could have acres of land, you could have a beautiful house with a lot more bedrooms if you really wanted to. You know what I mean? Yeah, you could. It feels like it's very excessive. Don't be wrong, it's cool, but it's an island. But it's very excessive. Nine mil for an apartment. From dining room, kitchen areas to the bay, and the master suite is also to the bay. And then you have the two guest suites on the golf course side. You can well, keep all the furniture for an extra $2 million. <laughs> Look at how beautiful it is. These two new developments have only made Fisher more untouchable, pushing home values across the island up by 20%. Today, you'll find price tags of over $40 million for a condo. That's only yeah, $10 ridiculous. million short of the most expensive home ever sold in Miami. And that was an entire mansion. The Palazzos were the first developments on Fisher in nearly a decade and are targeting a new generation of buyers. Traditionally, we had a, a, a little bit older demographic because the island is so beautiful and it's it's expensive. We've really seen it switch to a much younger crowd. It's a shop so we've seen a, a nice migration. Must be towards younger families. Some come from generations of family wealth. Others come from selling oil companies, selling financial instruments, technology, hedge funds. Even still, half of the residents are over 60, making them particularly vulnerable for COVID-19. The island has well, always been a place for away. the 1% to get away, ever since it was formed in 1906, when a canal was dredged so boats could go from the port of Miami straight to the ocean. The interesting part about this is that Fisher Island today would have been south of Fifth Street in Miami Beach because it was actually connected to the tip of Miami Beach Peninsula. Miami's first black billionaire, real estate mogul Dana Dorsey, was one of the first owners of the new island. He wanted to build a black resort here, but he had trouble getting workers out to the island to build it. So he sold it to billionaire developer Carl Fisher, who named it after himself. Next up, the go. Vanderbilt family. Carl Fisher and William Vanderbilt were known to party and have a lot of fun here. And one very late night, I'm sure there were drinks involved. They traded the island, Carl Fisher traded his island with his winter home, which is today the club, to William Vanderbilt for his over 200 foot yacht. So they did the trade and then the Alva Just as later you on sunk. Oh, and William wow. Vanderbilt kept the island. So I think he was the better businessman. Definitely take the island. After Vanderbilt's death, the island passed hands between millionaires and then it was left vacant for 15 years. In the 1980s, Fisher's current developers started work on the community you see today. And now, Fisher is a full-blown town. 
The old Vanderbilt mansion is a hotel, with suites running for almost $1,500 a night. Vanderbilt's old airplane hangar is now a spa, and you can even rent a property here on Airbnb for about $700 a night. But this doesn't this happen in a vacuum. It's bad. It takes about 600 workers to run this island. They live off island and have three separate ferries. During the day, they staff a school, post office, fire station, a security force, and a medical center. It was from that private health clinic that residents and workers got those infamous antibody tests. We're back on the ferry. We just finished our tour of Fisher Island. It's really hard to wrap your brain around just the amount of wealth squished into one place and how that exists so close to reality across the bay. As visitors pre-COVID, we got this sense that even with all its normal town functions, Fisher Island is anything but normal. It's like a live-in resort community. Manicured, mm -hmm. eerily perfect. It must be like a constant holiday with yeah. people who have way too much money yeah. than sent. Not sent, uh, that's probably me, but like more money than what they can use. Yeah. Just blowing it just there. It, yeah. Going to the tennis court every day. I'd love, I would love that though, to be fair. Like, but then would you get bored eventually? <laughs> oh, no, I'd become... The thing is, I kind of, I'd be at the gym every day. I'd play tennis. I'd try and get good at, really good at golf. But that'd be my aim. Work would be like golf, you know? Just try and get really good at it. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could go and batter your mates at it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And that's not going to happen. It's not. I'm not going to get out of it, am I? <laughs> Fingers crossed. Maybe one day. Smash that like button, subscribe, and show it to the whole of America. Maybe, maybe one day we will be. Please. Well, maybe we're we to move there. We beg. <laughs> we beg. <laughs> and as secluded as ever. Hey guys, my name's Abby. I'm the producer on this video. Obviously, things have changed a lot for Fisher since we visited back in November 2019. But I honestly wasn't that surprised when I heard COVID. that they were able to get antibody tests for everyone on the island. Not only did they have one of the first cases of COVID-19 in Miami-Dade County, they also have the means, the wealth, to get them. But I want to know what else you want to see from us. What other luxury apartments? I enjoyed that. It's actually really good, yeah. It was an insight to the other side, mm -hmm. uh, which hopefully we'll yeah. get there one day, but I highly doubt it. Hopefully you legends are already there, or you will get there. And uh, hopefully you're loving life wherever you are. Let us know in the comments what you thought. Let us know in the comments if you'd spend that much money on an apartment. Yep. I like the idea of the whole island. Apartment. Not I need sure. I need a mansion for Not that sure. money. You know what I mean? Not sure. Smash the like button, guys. Smash the subscribe button. What should we do? Have a fantastic day. And we'll see you later in the next one. Peace.